Hello everybody and welcome to Technology Learn. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Eclipse CDT, that is your C development tools on your Red Hat machine. As I'm installing this on a Red Hat machine, so you can refer this installation guide for any Red Hat based system such as your Fedora, CentOS or SUSE Linux. So before uh, setting up and installing Eclipse on Linux, you need to have the JRE, that is the Java Runtime Environment or the JDK installed on your system as well as you need to have a GCC that is your C compiler installed so if you want to check if your system have the java installed there is one command java hyphen version so if you are having java already installed on your system this will give you the result of the version of the java if you don't have the Java installed on your system, you need to download the Java runtime environment from this link. I'll place this link in the description of the video. Just download the RPM. This one is for the 64 bit and this one is for the 32 bit. So download the RPM and you can install the RPM using the command. If you don't know how to install the RPM, the command is RPM hyphen IVH and the package name so by using this command you can install replace this with the rpm file name it's just an example so once you have installed java you need to check if you are having a gcc compiler installed that is your c compiler so for checking the version of the gcc you need to type in gcc hyphen hyphen version so this will give you the gcc version you can also check the same for the c++ that is g++ it will give you the version if you don't have gcc installed on your system you need to download it and install so this is the link from where you can get the gcc rpm the process to install the rpm is the same rpm hyphen ivh and the package name so you can download it and install using the rpm ivh command but usually on every system a gcc compile compiler will be already installed so you don't need to install the gcc and the third important step is you need to download the eclipse so you need to download the eclipse so this is the link i'll place this link also in the description of the video so here you can see the eclipse and you need to download the eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers. So you have two options for 32 bit and 64 bit. Go ahead and download whichever uh, whichever version of the system you are having. If you are having a 32 bit, you can install download a 32 bit. If you are having a 64 bit, you can download a 64 bit. I have already downloaded it. So let's move to the next step. The next step is you need to extract the files. So I'm having the Eclipse so the command to un extract this is tar hyphen exit df and the package name so just enter it now all the files will be extracted so it's extracted here and you'll get a folder known as eclipse so the next step is you need to change the permissions of that folder so this is the command chmod hyphen in capital R plus plus sign small r and the folder name so this will make your every file inside the eclipse folder as executable file the next step is you need to create an executable file under this path so I'll create a new file Type in this command, I'll place all this command in the description of the video so you can refer to these commands from there. In user, bin, and eclipse. So the touch command will create a file known as eclipse. The next step is you need to change the permissions of this file also 
So it is chmod 755 the command. The permissions are changed. Now what you need to do is you need to open that file in your editor and you need to add these two lines to it. So just open this file. And what you need to do is you need to add this two lines to that file. So where it just save this file and quit. Now the next step is you need to create a desktop launcher for the Eclipse. So just create an Eclipse dot desktop file in this path just open this and add this all these things to the file which we have created Save and quit. Now the next step is you need to test the Eclipse. So first uh, your installation part is finished here. So we will open Eclipse now. So once your Eclipse installation is finished, go to the applications and in programming you can find Eclipse. You can uh, open Eclipse from here or you can also open it from the terminal by typing in Eclipse. So your Eclipse is starting. Given path for the workspace, I'll leave this as default. You can also select this option, use this as default and click on OK. So once your Eclipse is started, this is the welcome screen. Go to the workbench and please make sure that your perspective is selected as C, C++. If it's not selected, you can select the perspective from here and cancel it. And before running the program to check the Eclipse installation, I'll show you some preferences. Go to the window and go to preferences and in the general tab click on workspace and make sure that you have default selected as UTF-8 because you'll be using your programs on cross platform so if you're using it on a cross platform select it as UTF-8 if it's not selected click on other and change it so select it as default and your default should be Unix and the second thing is go to the editors and click on text editors and select all these things Accept this too. Scroll down and here you need to close the editor general now. Open C C and go to this new C C project and make sure that you select Linux GCC in the tool chains. Keep this empty project selected. Click on Linux GCC and click on make tool chains preferred. So once you click this, you'll get a small play kind of symbol here. Now once again, go to this editor and click on folding and you need to uncheck this and select all this about three you need to select this things and uncheck all these things once you are done with this click on apply and click on ok so we have finished all setting up all the preferences so i'll create a new project so we'll run a program, a, a simple hello world program 
to see if it's working or not I'll create a new project and please make sure that you have the Linux GCC present here because if you are not see if you are not seeing this you might have not done the preferences which I have shown edited the preferences click on finish and in on the testing right click and click on new file so I'll create a new file as hello.c with the .c extension and click on finish so here you have the file so I'll add this program so this program is nothing but this will display hello world to us so once you're done just save this and go to project and click on build all you have a shortcut of control B also click build all so you see the build is finished and once it is finished you need to click on this button to run it once you run you can see here our program is successfully executed we got the output hello world so we have successfully set up the C++ C++ development tool on your Linux system that is like Eclipse CDT on Linux. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel Technology Lair for the latest tips, tutorials and updates on Linux, Oracle, Telecom and Android. Once again, thanks for watching.